Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American science fiction and thriller movie, called Nope. The movie begins by featuring a 1998 sitcom called Gordy's Home, in which Gordy, a chimpanzee who is the lead actor in the sitcom, attacks several of its human co-stars after being startled by the pop of a balloon. Flash forward to the present day in Agua Dulce, a ranch owner named Otis Haywood Sr. trains and handles horses for film and television productions. While Otis prepares for the day with his son Otis O.J. Haywood Jr., several metal objects mysteriously fall from the sky. Unfortunately, a nickel pierces Otis' eye, causing him to die instantly. Because of that, O.J. and his sister Emerald M. Haywood inherit the ranch. O.J. also tries to keep the business afloat and maintain his father's legacy, while M. seeks fame and fortune in Hollywood. Six months after Otis' death, O.J. gets a job filming a commercial with a prominent cinematographer named Antlers Holst. To further reassure the crew, the Haywoods claim that the unnamed jockey in Plate 626 from Edward Mybridge's Animal Locomotion series of photographs was their ancestor. However, the project does not go well after one of the Haywood horses, Lucky, reacts aggressively when the crew startles it, resulting in O.J. being fired from the project. Later, the ranch's financial woes have forced O.J. to sell some of his horses to Ricky Jupe Park, who operates a small western-themed park nearby called Jupiter's Claim. In his office, Jupe admits that he was the child actor from the sitcom Gordy's Home who was somehow unharmed in the tragic incident by hiding under a table, even Gordy finally found Jupe and extended his hand for a fist bump, before being shot dead by authorities. However, Jupe is now exploiting his story of the Gordy's Home incident at Jupiter's Claim for profit in an attempt to mask his unresolved trauma. He eventually offers to buy the Haywoods Ranch, which M certainly encourages OJ to accept. At night, OJ notices one of his horses, Ghost, fleeing inexplicably due to an unknown presence. After failing to find it, he stops his vehicle in an open field and sees a UFO shaped like a flying saucer in the sky, which he then tells M. Motivated by a desire for wealth and fame, the siblings decide to document evidence of the UFO's existence. They go to Fry's electronic store, where the two meet the store's employee Angel Torres and recruit him to set up the surveillance cameras on top of their house and elsewhere on the ranch. After setting up the surveillance cameras, they set up a decoy horse which M stole from Jupiter's claim. Not long after, Jupe comes to their ranch and invites them to his new family live show on next Friday. That night, OJ investigates strange noises from the barn and encounters a short creature that looks like an alien. While he is documenting it, another creature startles him, so he knocks it down, and it turns out to be Jupe's kids who tell him not to mess with Jupiter's claim. While OJ is chasing a runaway horse, the UFO suddenly flies above their ranch and shuts down the ranch surveillance camera. At the same time, M sees a praying mantis landing on the surveillance camera above their house, blocking the view of the UFO. She then runs out of the house and sees the UFO near OJ, so she tells him to run. As he hides in the barn, OJ discovers that the UFO has been devouring their horses then spitting out inorganic matter, which caused their father's death. The following day, Angel suddenly comes back to their ranch and reviews the last night's footage, revealing that a nearby cloud never moves. As a result, they deduce that it is the UFO's hiding place. Soon, Jupe introduces a live show in Jupiter's claim and plans to use Lucky as bait to lure out the UFO, which he has been feeding the Haywoods horses to for months, in front of a paying audience. Unluckily on that day, the UFO arrives earlier than they expected, and it immediately devours Jupe and the entire audience, leaving Jupiter's claim abandoned. After a while, OJ also comes there, only to find Lucky in the field. He attempts to recall his horse, but the UFO suddenly attacks them. Having managed to survive the attack, OJ quickly returns home to inform M of his discovery. Meanwhile, the UFO has arrived at the Haywoods' home, where it expels a rain of blood and regurgitates the victim's belongings on the Haywood home after digesting its victims. On the other hand, OJ finds his car engine dead just as he is about to reach his house, so he can only wait for the UFO to leave. While waiting, he deduces that the UFO will not eat anything that does not look directly at it, and that it is not a ship at all, but a predatory territorial creature. He also believes that, like a horse, its behavior can be understood and influenced in order to capture footage of it without being killed. Over dinner, OJ, M, and Angel discuss how to capture the creature on camera because it always shuts down their technology, and they decide to hire Antlers for assistance. Antlers initially refuses to do so, but he reconsiders after hearing about the Jupiter's claim incident. Later, the Haywoods dub the creature as Jean Jacket, named after a horse their father could never fully tame. The next morning, 
the group devises a plan to bait out Jean Jacket, and they decide to create a field of scattered tube man props for electrical malfunctions to deduce its location in the sky. To circumvent Jean Jacket's effects on electronics, Antlers brings a hand-cranked IMAX film camera to capture footage. While they are waiting and watching the field, a TMZ reporter suddenly trespasses onto the field and is thrown from his electric motorcycle when it shuts down near Jean Jacket. He is then devoured by the creature while begging OJ to film the event. Afterwards, OJ lures Jean Jacket, while Angel helps Antlers to capture footage of it. Despite capturing the footage, Antlers' obsession with the impossible shot makes him run over to Jean Jacket. Because of this, he ends up being devoured by the creature along with his camera, forcing the remaining three to flee. Luckily, Angel survives an attack from Jean Jacket after wrapping himself up in barbed wire and a tarp, causing the creature to unfurl from its saucer shape to a jellyfish-like form. After that, OJ lures an enraged Jean Jacket away from M, while she uses the motorcycle to rush to Jupiter's claim. Once there, she untethers the theme park's large helium balloon mascot whose eyes stare straight at Jean Jacket. Therefore, it attempts to eat the balloon, while M uses an attraction's analog camera to photograph the creature. As Jean Jacket returns to its flying saucer shape, the compression causes the balloon to explode, seemingly killing the creature. With the picture as evidence of the creature's existence and reporters arriving nearby, M sees an unharmed OJ and Lucky standing outside of Jupiter's claim. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.